Oh, man, let's talk about a story that's moving right now. Ex-NBA star Sean Kemp charged with assault in that March shoot. Yep, got to talk it, got to talk it. We got it right here. All right, so the prosecutors in Washington State charged Sean Kemp on Friday with first-degree assault. They did. Mm-hmm. Parking lot shooting that he had last month. Y'all remember that, right? The shooting outside the Tacoma Mall. And he returned fire in self-defense, allegedly, after tracking and trying to retrieve a cell phone that had been stolen from him earlier that day. Okay, that was the initial story. Like everybody was like, oh, man, Sean Kemp. Man, y'all trying to get it, brother. He went over there and got his stuff. Good for him. I was just, like, glad he didn't get shot. Because they said the other kids or the other cats busted at him first. You could tell him from the hood. I said kids. <laughs> kids shooting. Damn it. Um, yeah, like, they shot first, supposedly. Well. Let's read this statement. That's a little reverse of uh, conversation here. In a written statement sent by a DA, Kemp's legal team said he would plead not guilty, right? But a a probable cause statement by the Tacoma police said a little different. It says some of his statements were not corroborated by surveillance video. Uh Uh-oh, somebody lying. And that that text message sent just 13 minutes before he arrived at the mall showed his intent. Aw, damn. Premeditated. He already knew what was up. Oh, man. Let's go. All right. Let's talk about it. Documents said Kemp told police that after being shot at, he went back to his own vehicle, parked several spots away to get his own gun. But the video... Oh, man, they be having this evidence. <laughs> man, I feel like I'm in Minnesota society right now. You know you're fucked up, don't you? You know you're messed up. What time you dropped the bottle of beer? 11.30. 11, you said it's 10.30? 10, no, no, no. I think it was 11. <laughs> Let's read through it. But the video showed that he was armed with the weapon when he approached, the, ah, damn it, the parked Toyota 4Runner where he had tracked his phone. And that makes sense. Like, Without video evidence, he tracks down his stolen phone and he has a gun. I ain't saying that he had a gun, but we know he has a gun. You're going to leave the the gun in the car and go track down something stolen from you and walk up to the car. Be like, hey, 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 thieves. How are you? Um, Y'all going to give me my stuff back? Back, back, back. Oh, and then I run to my car and go get my gun and then come back. Uh, when I did the story initially, I did the facts first. And I was like, I don't know. Now listen to it. All right. So now, according to the statement, Kemp tracked his phone to the forerunner. Um, that was by the J.C. Pen- Whoa, where does he live? They still got J.C. Penney's. Um, he parked his own car, a Porsche, and several spots away, grabbed the handgun out of the backpack and approached the forerunner. You know they got these video cameras. And these cameras be having like that FBI technology in them. They like, depending on how much you pay is how much we can zoom in based on incident, right? And I swear that's how it go. The statement said he fired three times into the Toyota and then threw his gun into some bushes. That's what I was kind of suspicious too when he – you got a gun you brought a gun up there but then you leave your gun in the bushes there i know he owned those dispensaries so maybe he was on that thing because that's this ain't making no sense driver of the forerunner appeared to duck one of the shots and eventually drove off jesus these real charges y'all only about five minutes elapsed from when kemp arrived until the time the forerunner left and obviously he struck the forerunner front quarter panels towards the steering wheel and through the front passenger door. Aye, story's different. Mm. So a lot of times when a celebrity gets caught up, um, it's interesting because them lying is way different than just like normal people lying. Why? Because we continue to monitor the story and we continue to give updates because of their celebrity largely, right? This was just Joe Blow. You would have took Joe Blow. Oh, Joe Blow gets off and not charged because he was in self-defense after having his phone taken. You're like, oh, good for Joe Blow, right? You would sit there and have that rooting interest and think that. But when it's a celeb, mm, like this was the last month, y'all. And they still on this case, obviously, but to public notice, to the public's attention. So this case is now moved and he got arrested and released. Now gonna get arraigned may 4th and we're gonna see what happens damn this don't sound good y'all but let me tell you why doesn't sound good because of two things and one you already know which is it ain't adding up sean you all right 
Mm. It didn't add up before, but now they got evidence that doesn't support your words. And two, ain't nothing worse than lying to the law. (laughs) Because the law, it's almost like they hate their jobs and don't make my job harder. That's how they feel. Like, look, you tell us, so I ain't got to do all that paperwork and all that running around the city and making sure you ain't lying. I got you. Hook you up, dog. (laughs) But if you don't, mm, oh, I got something for you, bro. I got something for you. So Sean Kemp looks like he uh, was uh, drifting off the reservation a little bit with his conversation about what really happened. And uh, looks like they got their evidence. And now something really is about to happen. Sean Kim going to be in trouble, y'all. Sound like it. 